Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's having a great Saturday and a great weekend. Well, I couldn't wait. Yeah. You saw me unbag this this morning and I went, yep, gotta have. So, it's turned this way right now. And I'm starting just right here in this corner for the sake of the video because I didn't want to go up any farther because, you know, my whole arm situation here won't go there. So, are you having a good weekend? I hope. I hope, I hope. Yeah, well, my son-in-law had to work today. Did get the tires last night, late, like quarter to six-ish. You know... If I was carting around four car tires, I'd want to get rid of that first. But I guess they got to go on a a route and a, a schedule of where they have to go. I have no idea what color this is. What did I do with my... Oh, it's a 63. 63 is 3807. It's kind of a beautiful purple kind of got a purple hint to it. Purple blue. Oh, yeah. So, I don't know if he'll get to my tires tonight or not. It just depends. He had to work a 10-hour day, so we're just kind of not pushing him. We're just going to back off. Yeah. I've been avoiding my daughter's house uh, pretty much all weekend because, yeah, it is what it is. So, but she's up and moving around. She still can't cough, you know, real deep or breathe real deep. And so maybe today will be better. That that was yesterday's complaint. So we'll just go. Yeah, I can stay right here. I made uh, beef and noodles. Yeah, not yesterday. When was that? Thursday, evidently, yeah, I had to go to the store. So I made a, a batch of beef and noodles. I know. Didn't I just make beef and noodles? But it sounded good and nice and warm. And yesterday afternoon, oh, about hmm, five, somewhere in there, between five and seven, somewhere, let's say, it had rained and rained and rained and rained. Kind of a steady little rain, so... Yeah, it was the perfect weekend for beef and noodles. It was either that or chicken and noodles. And just really didn't feel like the chicken part of that. So, I don't know. Just needed something with some substance. And they had, a, what do you call it, London broil on sale. Buy one, get one free. So, I bought two thinking I was going to make this ginormous batch of this stuff. Hmm. No, I, and of course, I had to cut it up. Yeah, so that took a hot moment. So after I cut up one, I went, mm, nope. I even bought two packages of noodles to make this with. So, yeah, just made a a half batch, if you will. But I'll still have a couple bags to, you know, put in the freezer and stuff and have for later. But I like something warm. I mean, I could have made it, made a, what do you call it? Potato soup. I love potato and onion soup. I, the last two times that I've been to the grocery store, now, mind you, I would have used more potatoes, but just saying, they didn't have any single russet, holy cow, russet potatoes. So, yeah, it was either that or buy a 10-pound bag, and I knew I wasn't going to go through that. When I make potato soup, I just make... Oh, it depends on the size of the potatoes. If they're about yay big, I take two of them, cut them up, and make enough for just a day or two because it don't freeze worth a shit at all. At all. Nope. I do not like been frozen potato soup. The, the potatoes are horrible. So I just make enough to eat in the next couple days or so. But, yeah, no, didn't make that because of that. If I'd wanted sweet potatoes, they had plenty of sweet potatoes. But, yeah, sweet potato, hot sweet potato soup, I don't know. Is there such a thing? Yeah, we could start something new, huh? I don't know how that would go. And it really wouldn't taste good with onions. So, I'll hold out for my potato soup. 
at another time. So I didn't watch much but rain on there, R-E-I-G-N, rain, on Netflix last night. And worked a little bit on Harriet Salt. We're getting further. But yeah, it's just a few stitches at a time. And, you know, I did the review for this this morning and I saw this and went, yeah, we're hitting the easy button today. So I might work on this the rest of the day. Not like we'll get very far, but we'll get a little bit done. Just a bit, because it's full coverage. And the background at least is not one solid color, as you can see. It's got lots of shades of blues and like orangish, peachy background. Isn't that beautiful? just gorgeous so I don't know later on I may you know get tired of doing this bottom part and go over here and work on this peach I, it looks like a rose to me but I just think they are gorgeous 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 flowers love them mm. yeah but I'm having kind of a oops let's move that out of the way so we don't have to fight it the whole time a thing about stitching on some of the big ones so that's a good thing I guess get a few more stitches in and they're so much easier to find than some of the others now I did make this one its own bag and of course my Chinese ladies and all their other big ones have a bag just so I can keep all the threads together but yeah so we'll see we will see sure the pretty color blue once it's stitched I mean not that it wasn't beautiful to start out with but just saying it looks a little darker after you get it stitched in one area I probably have to get out my thimble if I'm going to stitch on this, this canvas is kind of heavy. I didn't do much crinkling because of my finger is right where I have to like bend my finger. And oh my gosh, it just sends me into orbit. So yeah, it'll be held up by next week, we hope. I'm telling you. So get rid of this thread here. Oh, oh. I always grab those huge, ginormous, heavy scissors. I don't like those scissors. They are good for, um, what do you call it? Uh, show only. You know what I mean? Because they must weigh a quarter of a pound or more. They're, they're just totally heavy. It's like, what happened to my, my little dealy over there? Didn't want to lose my needle I think I'll just kind of keep going right straight across here it seems to be the easiest came really close to getting out my big single colored koi but I didn't I was going to but yeah I saw the ladies yesterday and, aha, uh -huh, yeah. I know right where the thread is for that. I do, I do. Some things, it's, you know, they're here. They're just put away someplace. So, need to rearrange all that stuff at some point and see, you know, just what is in these tubs. Because when I organized it and I got the tubs I just picked everything up in mass and uh, that's my water bottle uh, picked them up in mass and then put them in a thing to see how many I would need if I had to go back and get a few more or whatever so I got no clue I got nothing nothing yeah so they need to be reorganized and so does my counted stuff 
So we'll see. This is stitching really nice. It's nice canvas. It's fairly thick. It's not one of the thinner, finer, you know, lightweighter, lightweighter. Oh my goodness, lightweight canvases. It's pretty heavy duty. This puppy will weigh something when it's all stitched. Do you get all the thread in there? Oh my goodness. Yeah, no. Take four people just to get it to the wall. But so far, we're good. We're not thinking too far ahead. You know, that's like decades from now. Decades and centuries from now when it's done. But think, why did they ever start this? And of course, the DMC will be laying there just lovely and not disintegrating because, you know, it. DMC floss, I swear, is made to last a lifetime. It's durable. It doesn't ever rot. I mean, I've picked up kits, you know, at thrift stores that I know were from the 70s. And it looks just like the thread I got today. So, yeah. It, I don't think it ever disintegrates. Now, of course, it's dry here. You know. It's not like in the Midwest, so I have no idea, you know, where they have humidity in the air all the time. We have humidity in the air now only because it's raining. But usually we have 15 to 30 percent humidity most of the time. So, no grand plans for the rest of my weekend. I have these two videos today, so that'll be about all of my work day. <laughs> and it doesn't really feel like work at all, because I enjoy doing it, you know. I enjoy giving reviews and doing stitch with me's with y'all, and 95% of the time, y'all are the force that's driving me to stitch on these big projects and and even the small ones, you know. But I seem to need more encouragement about the big ones because, you know, it's like, I'm not getting anywhere. Yeah. That's my biggest complaint. I could stitch all week and, you know, might get this much done. <laughs> it's like, okay. Just try not to think about that. Just think of the, the rhythm and how lovely it is to be able to stitch and to see all the what do you call it, the symbols and and these are so easy to work on so nice everything's done for you there's no counting there's no guessing just just stitch you know I was thinking about how many actual stitches is in a in one of these yeah do you count that like or do you times um, that's no do you add or do you multiply how many stitches so where was that oh heck here no where is it here we go. So if it's 600 stitches wide by 240 high, do you time those together to get how many actual stitches are in one of these? There's a question for you. If you know the answer to this math problem today, put it in the comments. Yeah. No. I don't know that I want to know. No, I do. I think it it's fascinating. It's like, okay. So we've done 200 out of 18,462,000. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah, you're not making much progress really fast. It would be nice to have 30 friends. And this on one of those frames, kind of like if you were going to do a quilt. And 25 friends all the way around and everybody's stitching on this at once. We could whip this out in a week. Yeah, because, you know. 
I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Probably not so much. We can make it a whole day and and rent a hall and 25 people could come. Or, hell, tell you what, I'll just drag out all the big ones and whoever shows up, shows up and they can work on whichever one they want. How's that? Because, you know, we have lots of choices around here. Lots and lots of choices. We should have a national cross-stitch day. Well, I know they have national cross-stitch day, but you know what I mean? Just all of us. Men, women, doesn't matter. If you stitch, sit your butt down, load up a needle, and start stitching. <coughs> I still like my idea about putting tables all over a gymnasium and everybody just put a couple stitches in one. Well, put the needle away. I'm still not quite on to threading my needle. You know, every all my needles ahead of time. So, you have to forgive me. I'm always trying to re-thread the next, you know, for the next round. Oh, that was one stitch short. Hmm. Interesting. Now we're good. Yeah. Dreams and visions. The sad part is I know my kids would not be that interested in all these cross stitches. They might pick out one or two, but beyond that, hmm. No. I'm going to just go up. But it is stitching nice and flat, so. Thread's working really well. Sometimes I'll get some. I'll call it weak thread. That's W-E-A-K thread. It just seems so fine. And if I stitch with a big piece of it, after a while it starts wearing out from going in and out of the canvas. But so far, this, this thread's doing really good. But I have had some kits that had some bad thread and it seems like it's the light colors I don't know why come on That blue is awfully pretty next to that green, next green symbol. It's gorgeous. So it should be kind of quiet this week at work, thank goodness. Because, well, next weekend, I don't know if I told, I probably did, about that uh, music festival that we have. It's Labor Day weekend, but it's not in our town, so that's good. It'll make everybody out where that was held happy. They're going to have it, uh, it's about a hour drive from here, I'm just guessing. It's, so, I'm not going to it. I have no desire to go to that kind of a thing. It's some kind of a concert. It's got probably two or three different, maybe even more. I don't know. Didn't even look into it. Uh, artists, you know, that sing and stuff there. 
So, more power to you. I never even wanted to go to a concert back in the day when I could go to concerts. I mean, I did get make it to Willie Nelson. And who else? Oh, when I lived in Houston, my senior year, we got all us girls. And one of them had their boyfriend with us. We all went to go see Barry Manilow, but that was the only two concerts I ever went to. So, I am not a concert person. I don't much care for that atmosphere, I guess. I don't know. Just not my my thing. Of course, we went to plenty of school concerts. And then when I lived in Springfield in Illinois, we would every year for a class thing, we went to go see the uh, Springfield Orchestra. So, yeah. I don't know. I'm sure my parents knew somebody that was in the Springfield Orchestra, but it didn't mean a thing to me. They'd always have, like, a Christmas concert and that kind of crap. So, yeah, I did that when I was little. But other than that, I just, no, not so much. Well, at least this color does not match this next symbol. I've had that so many times, it just makes me want to scream. You don't know what symbol to do first, but this does not do that, so yay! Just trying to get these out there. They're just here, there, and everywhere. little symbols scattered about. I guess it's that's the way it can blend you know in with the other color. But it is kind of relaxing. Just doing one stitch or one stitch. Yeah, I'm only doing one stitch at a time. Duh. Uh, one color at a time. So, yeah. Ah, I can't get it turned around. Guess we're just going to have to get rid of that color or that thread. Keep putting the stupid scissors away, I'm telling you. That over there so I don't lose it. I know, it doesn't look, see, it doesn't look like we've done a whole lot at all. But it probably won't get busy at work until about Thursday. And I think these people can, um, what do you call it, um, camp where this concert is. And it's closer, this place where it's going to be held is um, real close to that town, Salida, here. Bitsy bitsy. So I don't know if it'll rain today or not. It just was supposed to be kind of sporadic. So it's rained about every day that I've been off, you know, at one point or another. So, yay.
All right, guys. Well, I think that is going to be about it for today. Thank you for joining me and getting this started. So we're right down here. It'll be a hot moment, but I may go up here and start on these flowers sporadically because I can kind of see where they're at. So. All right, guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and please hit the bell. That way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you next time. God bless. Bye-bye. Keep stitching.